I know it's only two days in, and you know these guys are still kind of acclimating, but. Just your thoughts on the first couple of days of spring ball? Yeah, you know, I thought I uh, love the energy, love the effort of the guys. That's obviously a huge focus for, for everything we're doing. But I uh, um, thought offense won the day on Saturday. I thought defense won today. Uh, obviously, I'll go back and watch the film just to see it for sure. But uh, uh, this installation is continuing, so that's always a, a challenge. You're not trying to worry so much about, you know, um, how it looks in regards to the matchup of the O versus the D. Sometimes it's about, okay, we're just all new scheme for this day you want to make sure you teach off of that so uh, I've been doing that obviously both days we had new things today and both sides of the ball so but just uh, got a lot of new faces out there and I I like I like what I'm seeing but you know it's we got a lot of work to do when you talk about new faces how are your new staff members kind of uh, getting into the flow of practice yeah. that's I mean you're right that's a new new part too you know and you try and get you know personalities and how you kind of coach and practice and you know some of these guys you, know, you hire guys if you haven't worked with them you haven't ever seen them in that in that setting, you know, so, but uh, we got a lot of great teachers, what I'm seeing, and uh, I think that's really, really critical uh, to be able to build our team and, and just keep getting better, and that's number one goal is improve our technique and fundamentals, especially up front and in, in all areas, but but I think uh, um, I like the staff continuity we have. I think we have a lot of good chemistry, uh, which is obviously a huge part of it, but that'll just keep growing, too. How have you What's, seen the players kind of react to that coaching so far? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, even if you see that to today, you know, with, uh, you know, with, with Matt here, calling the defense and being in that role. Um, I love his energy. He's an extremely uh, attention, high attention to detail guy. He's going to make our whole secondary better. Uh, I already, already feel like we're making progress in that area. I just really love what he brings energy-wise. Um, and then on offense, you know, I just think that uh, up front, I like what I'm seeing, you know, just uh, the work that Coach Bostad is already doing. You know, it's obviously got uh, a lot more work ahead of us, but I like this and I like the start. What's different about evaluating a quarterback when you basically have nothing but young guys there and there's not a lot of reps, there's, there's not, you know, one veteran back there, even a walk-on really, sure. just what's what's different about maybe going through that position? through this Yeah, program? I think, you know, um, it makes it a very uh, um, open evaluation process, you know, uh, kind of a clean slate of everybody. And uh, um, I like it from the standpoint of it, you just kind of get to see who's going to rise up, you know, and it's, it's going to be a daily thing now. I mean, it's that's a tough position, you know, especially when you're installing things and the defense is just doing, you know, their installation as well. So there's not, there's not like specific game plan, you know, adjustments or things. You're just reacting to what they do. And sometimes it's, you know, defense can make a mistake and make it all look even way different than they're supposed to. But, but I think what happens with that is you kind of, you get to see who the natural leaders are. You get to kind of see who just uh, has that instinctive and, and the ability to just create and make plays. And so that's why we get into team settings. That's what I'm kind of looking for. You know, obviously they're going to make their reads and progressions and, and uh, you know, we're going to be tough on them because we want them to, to learn how to handle the pressure that they're going to be under. But but I think what I'm because of the of the rawness of everything and the newness for those guys, you just get a chance to see who are they you know, innately when the bolts are flying and, and when it's team periods because that to me is what matters. On the offensive line, you mentioned improvement. What things are you looking at that are improved? Is it you know winning some one-on-one -on -one battles? Is it the physicality of practice? What do you see that's improved on? on yeah, the, the toughness piece is big. So we're really emphasizing that. We're talking about building our toughness is one of our goals for the spring with our guys and challenge that toughness is our one word for the whole year. Uh, just that the one-on-ones -on -one, we're going to do more. Um, Competitive, we call it competitive individual period. Okay, we've added that component to our practice every single day. We're going to do it all, all 15 days to be able to develop that toughness with our guys. And the one-on-one -on -one matchups, the, the combinations, working together, working to second level blocks to me is going to be a big emphasis. But just it's just finishing those blocks, you know. And, you, and you're, yeah, sometimes you got to win a one-on-one, -on -one, you know. And, and we're doing more, you know, opportunities to create that on offensive line. And then just it's just drill work and drill work and drill work. Build that toughness, build that technique, and just get better every single day. Coach, how is Dexter Williams' rehab process going? See him out there kind of standing with the quarterbacks? How's yeah, he so he's kind of in coach mode right now. You know, he's not cleared to do anything in that regard on the field yet. So uh, definitely because of such a late injury in the season and the severity of it. So uh, which is what we expected. You know, he's, he's really pretty much where he's supposed to be. Uh, just, uh, I mean, he um, he's doing everything he can be doing right now, and which is awesome. And uh, But, yeah, it's, it's – uh, it's a long road for him, for sure. But uh, the good news is he's on schedule. Who else is kind of like limited injury-wise? Right yeah, now? so you got uh, um, you know, Cam Camper is another one that's, that's going through the process. He's uh, 
uh, not quite as far along as, as Matt Bedford is. Matt, Matt's actually going to be able to be out there and do some things a little bit. They're working with our, our training staff on a daily basis, so they're still moving. So those, both those guys are doing those kind of things. Um, and then uh, James Bomb as well had, had a, a surgery this offseason, so he's not out there yet. But uh, those would be the top three guys and, and uh, just working through it. Uh, Matt Holtz wearing a blue jersey, so he'll never go live this spring. He had a postseason surgery, but uh, he's able to do all the reps and everything physically. So, But I would say that uh, all those guys are on schedule, and uh, we expect them to all be back. Dexter's the only one that's not scheduled to be back for game one. You, you have Brendan Sorensby here, but you know, you've got you got Taven's new and, yep. and Brock's new. What do you see? What, what, what would you tell fans about their physical skill sets now that you see them close up? Well, I would say, you know, the thing about Brendan, even though he, um, you know, this is in his second season, he was not here last spring. So it's his first spring with us. So uh, that's a big difference. You know, he's bigger. Uh, he is, uh, he's got a live arm. Uh, he can throw it and run it. You know, I love, I love that component here. I think kind of the same with, with uh, Taven, you know, similar build in terms of not quite as heavy as, as Brendan, but uh, live arm. Uh, both of those two guys have a really strong arm, you know, and uh, I think just the ability to run it for all three of them is, is one of their strengths, without question. Uh, and I think that, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's sometimes hard to tell right now because there's so much going on, uh, but when you just see them isolate and make the throws, you know, those, those two older guys have really, really strong arms. And, and uh, you know, Brock to me is just, he's just a winner. I mean, he's just tough, gritty. Uh, he makes really good decisions already, even though he's very young. He's, he's obviously the youngest of the crew. His first college opportunity you know, of his life this spring, coming right out of high school. But, but you can see the, the, the natural leadership piece, the toughness. It's actually showed up in the weight room. Our string staff noticed him right away. Um, a lot of comments about that. Uh, he's really, uh, I think he's going to have a chance to be a really special player because of, of his mindset. But obviously he's very, very young. You know? So all three of them have uh, the ability to run and throw. And I uh, just like, I think all three guys have really strong leadership as well. Could obviously say pro day for uh, yeah. several former players. <clears throat> just the importance, obviously, for those guys and for the program, getting all these scouts here, all these teams here to watch them and, and hopefully put on a good show. Yeah, I tell you, it was, uh, um, we, had a, we had our season ending uh, award ceremony last night. We tried to, we modified that with the whole schedule now with the December signing. We used to do it right then, but now we can't. So it's been a good time to bring those guys back. They all come back for their pro day. Had them test, had some time with these guys last night, the senior class, and then they're, they're all here today for their pro day. So just a special group of guys. Um, a lot of those guys have played a ton of football for us, been a part of some great, great seasons here uh, during their time, and uh, you just want to see them be at their best, you know. And so very important to have all the scouts here watching them and evaluating them. Obviously, Cam was at the combine, and he'll be doing some things today as well. And so, but the whole crew is just—it's—it's uh, it's fun. I've, I've been looking forward to this day for a while, just because it's their chance to showcase what they've been working so hard for and get a chance to be able to, you know, take that next step in their dream of pursuing the NFL. It's one one newcomer I kind of noticed, Jacob Mangum Farrar. If I'm, if I'm saying that right. Yeah. Tall guy. Looks like yeah. he could maybe even. Maybe a little bit to do a little bit of edge, come off the edge for you guys. Is that something you're thinking about with him? Well, he's 6'4", 240, and uh, very, very bright. You know, graduate from Stanford, and uh, um, very, very versatile. Yes, I think he's a lot of things he can do for us from a package perspective. Gives us a lot of flexibility with that, and I expect to use him in those ways, uh, in both as a traditional inside linebacker and also as an edge guy. So uh, we just, uh, I think he's going to be a big part of our our defense, and I'm really excited about it. Kind of with those guys that have come in here just in the winter, what stuck out about those guys as they've kind of transitioned to the program? You know, I tell you, the, the thing that's really been a pleasant surprise, you just don't know, is, is how well do they fit with you. You know, you want them to, you, you, you do it with that purpose, but until you get them here, you don't really know, uh, especially the ones that we didn't know quite as well. Uh, but uh, uh, the buy-in to our program, to who we are as a, as a culture, has been at a very high level. Uh, a lot of those guys have already, you know, we had a couple of them even selected to the leadership council, which is, Amazing to happen in a short amount of time, but the players are the ones that picked them, and so, and then we as coaches, you know, and strength staff as well, have uh, you know have their vote also. But uh, so to me, it's about uh, finding guys that 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 want to be in this opportunity, you know, and they're going to take full advantage of it. So, you know, the D-line is full of them. we got four guys there that I think all have a chance to really make a difference on our team. And, and already mentioned Jacob, and we got several guys in the secondary as well. So, uh, and then on offense, I love the, you know, the additions and the skill positions, you know. And so, to me, it's just, uh, you know, important guys. You know, they're not young, they're older. We expect to come in here and compete to play, and I think that's what they're going to do. So, I love the way they bought in. Their work ethic's been tremendous, and they're definitely, uh, you know, proving that we picked the right ones. 
Thanks, guys. Have a great day.